worry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to GTA 3. You asked? So you're going to be getting it. It's a 100% playthrough of GTA 3. And I'm really excited about this. And a little bit nervous. Because I've actually 100%ed this game before. And it was quite difficult in places. But we did Vice City, we did San Andreas. So we can do this one. Yet no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Being broken out. Aye, aye, get lost. Oh, I love the story in this one though, it's really good. A little bit dated now compared to Vice City and San Andreas. But pretty cool nonetheless. Uh oh. And there goes the bridge. It's going to take them a while to repair that bridge as well. So here we go. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up. So you better drive, brother. All right, we're driving. Here we get. Uh, we don't want any radios on. How do we turn the radio off? <laughs> we definitely don't want that going on because that's going to... Um, Result in some copyright issues. Can I turn that down, please? Off, off you go, please. Thank you. We don't want copyright problems. Alright, off we go then. We are in Liberty City. Alright, yeah, so we've got the radar in the bottom left corner. Something I forgot about this game is that it doesn't have a big map function on the pause screen. So that's going to make it uh, a little bit interesting, actually, when it comes to doing some of the collectibles and things like that. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do those just yet, but we'll we'll figure it out as we go along. The cars also handle very differently to San Andreas, but never mind. We should be good. Anyway, off we go to our little place. I know the map a little bit better on this one anyway. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Good idea. Okay, we're not on a mission you can save a game here. Yeah, we know. Gary Jet still can store one vehicle. I know this guy. Okay. Connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Alright, yeah, we'll head over there. Good idea. Wonder what type of work we're going to be doing. Probably all legit stuff, right? Nothing dodgy. Right, okay, around this corner. And here we are. Alright. Here we go, Luigi's Girls. It's like the first proper mission in the game. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Looks 
looks like we're waiting out here. That was quick. Say hello to eight ball, lady. Eight ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. All right, all right, all right. Forgot how many like, loading screens there are on this game. <laughs> get a vehicle. Well, we've already got one. Uh, we don't want to circle, cycle through the radio stations. Daytime already, look at that. Right, so we need to go and pick up Misty and bring her back to Luigi's. We can do that. It's a very easy opening mission. Just sort of sets the scene. Whoops. Wow, this car took damage quick. Hi, I'm Misty. Hello. Yeah, we can do that and we can look behind. Controls are all the same. Whoops. Not my fault. <laughs> Maybe we can't get a wanted level on this first level because that normally results in a wanted level. We've got three dollars as well. Look at that. We're rich. Yeah, money's not so much of a problem this one as it is for a large part of San Andreas. So we should be fine. Mission passed, fifteen hundred dollars. That was easy. Yeah, I forgot about these weird little transition screens. Right, you can go and see Luigi for more work or check out Liberty City. To earn some extra cash, why not borrow a taxi? Yeah, we'll be doing that at some point. Uh, but that is the end of the sort of opening of the game. So we'll leave it there and we'll check our stat screen first. So we are now up to... Stats, come on. Where are you? Zero percent complete! <laughs> I forgot it only does whole percentages on this, so... There's no sort of 0.5 or anything like that, it's literally... So we're still on zero percent apparently, but there we go. We've done the first mission of the game and the little introduction. And that does it for this episode, and I'm really excited to be playing this game again. Um, as like I said, I've 100 percented it before, so I know what to expect. Hopefully I'll be able to do it again. But I'm excited to be back in GTA 3, it's a really good game. Despite its limitations, it's a really good game and I love the setting of the PC. But that is it for this one, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne and Nate for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it and join our little community that we're building here. And I'll see you all next time.